Hi, I'm Andriana Pena. I'm a second year medical student at Oklahoma State University College of Osteopathic Medicine. Today, I will be presenting the sex differences in blood pressure and renal handling of sodium in mice on a high salt diet. Consuming high levels of fructose and salt play a major role in the obesity epidemic and high level of hypertension among the population. High consumption of either fructose or salt can have deleterious consequences on health and the combination of high fructose and high salt intake leads to serious health problems. The dramatic increase in fructose intake has contributed to the rise in people with metabolic syndrome and obesity around the globe. Many studies have linked high salt consumption with hypertension. Furthermore, a recent paper by Sharma et al. demonstrated that important sex differences exist with respect to renal metabolism of high fructose intake. They also found that the impact of fructose on the kidneys has important consequences to the renal handling of salt and water and thus to overall sodium balance. By understanding how the high fructose and high salt diet affects the renal handling of sodium, metabolic syndrome, blood pressure, and various pathologies, newer and more effective therapies for metabolic syndrome and hypertension can be developed. The objective of this research project was to investigate sex differences in blood pressure regulation and renal handling of sodium in mice consuming a high fructose and high salt diet. An important question for this research is to determine if females are protected from high blood pressure when consuming high fructose and high salt. For our methods, healthy four-week-old male and female mice, six per group, were placed in metabolic cages for six weeks. For the first week, or the baseline week, all mice consumed a normal diet of 0.25% salt with water. Mice were then placed on the high salt, high fructose diet consisting of a 4% salt chow with a drinking solution of 20% fructose and 1% sodium chloride for the next four weeks. This was followed by a recovery week with mice on a normal diet with water. Blood pressure was measured daily via the tail cuff technique and averaged weekly. Daily measurements of sodium intake and outtake were measured. Sodium intake was calculated from daily food and fluid consumption and output was measured by sodium excretion in the urine. Sodium concentration uh, was measured using the Easy Light Sodium Potassium Analyzer. The ratio of sodium excretion to sodium intake indicates sodium retention. Real-time PCR was conducted using custom-made PCR arrays designed with specific primers for mouse renal sodium transporters. For our results, systolic blood pressure was not different between male and female mice in the baseline week or in the first week of the high salt, high fructose diet. Systolic blood pressure significantly increased in female mice in the second week on the high salt, high fructose diet, where systolic blood pressure increased in male mice only slightly from baseline. In the third week on the high salt, high fructose diet, male systolic blood pressure increased to that of the females and systolic blood pressure in both sexes remained high in the fourth week. In the recovery week, systolic blood pressure remained elevated in females, whereas male systolic blood pressure decreased significantly. Molecular expression of renal sodium transporters showed significantly higher expression for all sodium transporters, but the sodium dependent phosphate one transfer in the female mice. Consuming the high sodium high fructose diet increased blood pressure in male and female mice and systolic blood pressure tended to be higher in females in the second week. Systolic blood pressure in female mice remained higher after recovery week, whereas systolic blood pressure decreased in male mice. Sodium excretion and sodium balance were similar in male and female mice, with female mice tending to retain more sodium than male mice. Female kidneys expressed higher mRNA levels of all key sodium transporters besides the sodium phosphate dependent transporter one. Based on these findings, females are not protected from the high fructose, high salt diet induced increase in blood pressure. We propose that the high expression of renal sodium transporters and renal transport activity in the kidney results in more sodium retention and thus higher blood pressure in the female mice. We hypothesize that estrogen plays a key role in the higher sodium transport in the kidney. And these are our references. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to myself or Dr. Rausch. Um, both of our emails are included at the beginning of the PowerPoint. Thank you.